back to it. So I just started the recording now and um, we are drawing people today. We're gonna work on drawing people and drawing people is super tough. So we're not gonna do it all in one shot. We're actually gonna break it up. We're gonna do a little lesson today about drawing people and then we'll come back to it over the semester because it's a really tough thing, but there's people in a lot of artwork. And the more we work on it, the more we practice, we'll get a little better. Um, yes, was that Gigi or Isla? Me. Isla, hi, what's up? Um, are we gonna use the paints today? We're not. I'm sorry, I ordered canvas boards for us. And so we're not gonna use the paints till the canvas boards come in because they're a little bit better to, to paint with. So we're gonna hold off on the paints. I know you're waiting for paints, Isla, I know it. But you know what? Hey, Isla, you know what? If you have some, um, some watercolor or something that you wanna add to the work we're doing today, you can do that, okay? I have canvases. You do? I'm going to wait till uh -huh. everybody has canvases is the only thing. But that's awesome. That means you can practice even more with your paint. Let's see. So we got Shy coming in and who else do we have? Hey, Shy. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and run through our attendance here, you guys, and make sure I've got a record of everybody. And while I'm doing that, if you don't have it already, I'd like for you to grab something you're gonna draw with today, your sketchbook or um, some paper. And then also um, some of you, something that you wanna draw with from your drawing supply kit that we gave you, or just a pen or a pencil, even a marker that you really like to use. Colored pencil's fine too. Not this. Yeah, Kaden, Emerson, Finn. I think everybody's got your actual name on there today. That is super helpful. Thank you. Uh, Katie and Luke. Franny, I like Roblox. <laughs> Roblox is a cool name. All right. And our... Roblox is actually the name of a video game. Oh, really? I'm going to have to check that one out. I'm not familiar with that one. And Sydney. It like holds a different other video game. Oh, yeah. It's my birthday, Miss Veronica. What? Oh, my goodness. Happy birthday, Sydney. You look very nice. You a little top <laughs> of your dress there. Beautiful. What do you think <laughs> of your birthday? Um, we were planning to go scootering on the Legacy Trail with my friend Poppy, but it's too smoky. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I see, I see. We're planning something else. Okay. Well, maybe with our with our drawings today, we can um we can make some little special special additions for Sydney. That's awesome. Happy birthday. All right. Let's see. So, I think I've got everybody in. We are working on drawing people today. Drawing people. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you a reference here first. This is a really cool book that I like to use. And we're gonna use this book whenever we're talking about drawing people. We're gonna keep talking about it throughout the semester. Cause if you weren't, I'm sorry, the trimester. Cause if you weren't here when I was saying it, drawing people is pretty tough. So we're gonna break it up into little chunks. Cause most of us have a hard time drawing people. It's really difficult. It's really challenging. So we're gonna learn some tips that help I'm us. I'm already starting to draw my tech deck, dude. Are you? <laughs> awesome. All right, and remember, you are always allowed to start drawing as soon as you get in here. You can start doodling, that's okay with me. And the lesson, but you can definitely start to doodle and draw because I want you to be really comfortable practicing and drawing whenever you'd like in this class. All right, so today I'd like to talk a little bit about um, when people are wearing clothes, kind of how those clothes look on the person. And you can even see, I wore sleeves today, but you can see kind of the way the wrinkles go on your clothes. If you pay attention to that when you're drawing people and you can even look at your own clothes, you'll help, it'll help you to make your drawings look a little more realistic. So if I have an elbow and I draw these little curved lines around my elbow, that's gonna help me to draw more realistic drawing, drawing that looks like that's actually an elbow in there. It helps me to see the shape. The same thing with the cuff. If I have a cuff like this, the cuff is not gonna actually be the same, generally, unless it's really tight. It's not gonna be the same width as my wrist. It's actually gonna stick out a little bit, right? And maybe you can see some buttons on it. 
All right, so those details are what I want you to start looking about or looking at and thinking about whenever you're drawing people. The clothes are really helpful. Same thing with the collar. If I have a collar, it doesn't go straight back, right? It's actually gonna wrap around my neck. So if you draw a rounded line around your neck, that's gonna help us to know the shape of your collar. And these are all details that help us to understand when we're drawing. So I'm gonna do a couple demonstrations for us and you're welcome to start practicing. You're welcome to start looking at your own clothes and notice what you see, notice your details. And we're just gonna do some practice drawings here. And you can look at anything for reference. You can look at a magazine. You can look at just people around you. You can start sketching and looking at, even if you're watching a show or something, you can start sketching what you see and it helps us to get a little more familiar here. All right, let me grab another page. So if I have my elbow, and let's just pretend that this is the sleeve of my shirt. So if that's the sleeve of my shirt, that's not super realistic, right? But if I start to think about the clothes, maybe I take that same shape and I start to make it a little bit more rounded, like the shape of my elbow. Maybe I have some wrinkles coming around where I have my um, sleeve. Maybe there's a little showing where the seam is on my shirt. Right, and that's gonna start to look a little bit more realistic. So now I can see that the clothes are getting a little bunched up in the elbow there. I can see the cuff. I can see some detail. Maybe there's a button, maybe there's a seam. And you can do the same thing with me or you can choose to draw something thinking of the similar concept there. All right, so this is just gonna help us when we're drawing somebody with clothes. We just start to notice some more details. I'm gonna keep going with a couple other things here. I'm gonna leave this up for another moment. Another thing that's really interesting and gives us a lot of information is somebody's shoe. If somebody has a shoe on, and I'm gonna give you some tips on that too. When you put a shoe on somebody's foot, there's a couple things that we can do that make it look a little bit more realistic. All right, and I'm gonna make an example of that here. All right, so let's say we have somebody's shoe and we got the floor underneath and we have the toe. Now this doesn't look super realistic, does it? It might if we're trying to do a certain style, a really cartoony style. All right, but there's a couple things that we could do to this shape that are gonna make it look a little bit more realistic as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and redraw this, the same idea. Okay, so this is still very simple. Whoops, there's Madeline, let me get her in here. All right, so this is still very simple here. Whoops, let me put a sole on there also. Sole of the shoe, right? All right, still very simple, still kind of cartoony looking, right? And hey, Madeline, let's see, where are you? There we go. Hey, Madeline, we are um, just getting started drawing people today. So you can look at the example I've got going up here, but we're just finding different ways. Let's say we have an elbow here, very simple. If we add a little wrinkles in the fabric or we focus on the detail of the shirt, whatever shirt the character is wearing, you can start to make it look a little bit more realistic your drawing. Same thing, we're just getting to a foot and we're just talking about different tips, going through a couple different ways that we can draw people that looks more realistic. And we'll be touching on this throughout the semester because it's one of the most challenging things in drawing. Oh, yay, look at this, from Emerson to Sydney. Hey, Sydney, look up, you got a message. <laughs> you see it? <laughs> it's on Emerson, if you see Emerson's uh, box there. Keep it up there, Emerson. Emerson, I don't think she's seen it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Emerson. <laughs> All right, so going into our shoes, when we have our shoe, usually 
where the arch of your foot is, depending on what kind of shoe you're wearing, usually you can see a little arch on a shoe there, right at the center of the foot. And if you look at your own foot, you can probably see a little arch in there. So most shoes are gonna show that a little bit. And then same thing on the toe, instead of the toe going flat across the floor, usually on a shoe, it lifts up just a tiny bit. There's a little lift there at the front. So when you're drawing a, a shoe, Oh, huh. Let me see. Hang on one second. Lola's having trouble getting in. Let me go ahead and get her in here. One moment, guys. I'm going to leave this up here while I get Lola in. Let me see if I can just send it on her email here. Hmm. Hold tight, you guys. I'm just figuring out a way to get Lola in here. Make sure she gets in. Almost done, guys. Just one sec. I'm drawing an elephant dot by dot, like I'm drawing the dots, and it's turning out so good. Yay! That's awesome. That's a really good technique. Oh, there she is. Yay! Okay. Hey, Lola. I can see you. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I can see you. Hey, Lola, how you doing? Shoot, you're muted there, Nikki. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, Every please. time, I don't know why. Huh. I don't know. We're going to have to do some weekend practice, man, on the okay, link. What's going on here today? Uh, so we're going to join people today, Lola. So we're gonna be drawing people. So if you can just get some paper and something you wanna draw with. All right. You can use your sketchbook or you can use just loose leaf paper, either one. And we're, we're just practicing. Um, we're talking about drawing people. All right, and then Lola, if you wanna look up here, I actually, oh, I'm sorry, you're probably getting your, <laughs> your drawing supplies, huh? I have some examples up here. We're just getting started, don't worry. Just getting started. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are talking about our shoe right now. And Lola, we've only gone over a couple things that we were noticing when we're drawing people. One of them is if you look at the clothes that somebody is wearing, you can see some wrinkles that show you really cool things about the shape. So we're looking at my sleeve here, Lola. If you look at my elbow, See how you can see those wrinkles there? And if you have in your skin too, you'll still see a crease, right? Or if I have a cuff on my sleeve, maybe some buttons, you'll notice those details on your clothes. If we draw them into the drawing, it helps things to look a little more realistic, even if it's a cartoon. And you can start to notice with a lot of your cartoon drawings or really simple styles, you're still gonna see some of those details in there. All right, and then with the shoe, if we add the arch to the foot, maybe a little lift where the toe is, that gives us a lot more information too. We can also check in with the, the laces. You add some laces to a shoe or maybe a sock. That's gonna make it look a little bit more realistic also. 
All right, I'm gonna leave this up for another moment and then I'm gonna get started on another piece um, for the puzzle. I drew, I drew my aunt. Whoa, look at that. Cool, very nice. Nice work. Profiles are tough too. I think profiles hey, are really can tough I see? Well. I can't find you in that. Oh, cool elephant. Wow. Nice, Sydney. That's really interesting. Now, guys, one thing I want to tell you when we're practicing with this, a lot of times when we're learning it, it doesn't look right, right? It's kind of tough to learn it. So if you get frustrated, you can always start over. You can always start over or you can move to a different observation. All right. Different part, different part of the character you want to work on. So you don't, if it gets frustrating, just take a minute, shake it off. Just know that it's going to be tough. It is tough. All right. Okay. So we have elbow, we got the shoe. Let's try something like a collar or a shirt that's wrapping around the neck. So I'm gonna give us another drawing here. So a lot of times when we first- This is gonna be the cutest elephant ever. <laughs> Yay, I'm excited. Um, so when we are drawing something like somebody's top of their, of their body, their neck, maybe their torso a little bit, we could start with something like that and then we could take it and we could start to make it a little bit more real realistic by thinking about wrapping around, right? That line isn't going to look straight across because it's wrapping around a rounded neck. All right. So I'm going to show us what I mean by that. All right, so if you have a collar, maybe you have a couple buttons. And then when we get to the shoulder, you're generally gonna see the top. So see how the collar kind of wraps around the neck? Same thing if you have a shirt underneath or if you just have a shirt, it would be kind of a rounded line like that, right? It would be rounded around the neck. So when you're drawing somebody and you're drawing the way that their collar looks, and I'm actually seeing Bo, you have a really good example there <laughs> on Bo's shirt. You can see how it's rounded, right? So you can see on any of your own clothes, you can always look in the mirror when you're, a lot of times when I'm learning to draw people, I look a lot and just look at my own hands or my own feet or look in the mirror. Okay. Uh, yes. Let's see. Oh, Shy, are you stretching or do you have a question? <laughs> stretching. <laughs> okay. All right, how are we doing so far? Is anybody getting frustrated? It's okay if you are, it happens. You guys doing all right? Yeah, okay. And if you need to stop and draw something else just for fun, you can too, because I know this is a really challenging subject, okay? All right, so we've got some wrinkles in the clothes. We're learning about elbows. Remember, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing, but you can definitely think about these concepts while you're doing your practice drawing, your freestyle drawing. All right, we went over a little bit about shoes and how the shoes can look more realistic if we think of the shape of the foot, the way the foot looks. And you can look at your own feet and everybody's a little different. Every shoe's a little different, but these are things that in general tend to help us. Going into the torso, the neck, a lot of times those wrap around shapes, the circular shapes, rounded shapes will make us look a little more realistic there too. All right, so I'm gonna draw us a little something different here. Let me get a fresh page and we'll keep referencing this too, you guys. Okay. All right, so And we're gonna, so another thing that is super tough for most of us is hands and feet, right? Hands and feet are really tough. So we're not gonna go over hands and feet today because that's kind of a whole lesson itself. So you can be pretty simple with hands and feet, especially if you're drawing the whole body. You don't have to worry about drawing all the hands, the fingers, everything else like that. Um, so think about keeping the hands and feet pretty simple. If you have a shoe on, that's a little easier. 
But if you're drawing a foot without a shoe, you got all the toes, there's a lot of information. So we're gonna do another lesson focusing on that. So if you're adding hands and feet to your drawing, just keep it simple for today. All right, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about pants when you have your pants on. So let's see, if I have somebody's waist, I'm gonna draw this for you and then I'm gonna hold it up. All right, so if you have pants, and this is just basic pants, that's your shape. Now I'm gonna make this a little bit more realistic. One way that makes it look more realistic and make your drawing look more interesting is to change the shape a little bit of what the character's doing with his legs. So maybe one knee's bent or one leg's crossed over. So I'm gonna play with that a little bit. And I'm gonna use some of those um, tips that we were using already. Okay. So this would be the same thing. Maybe this character has pants on. Maybe it has some of those wrinkles behind the knee, right? And then maybe there's some wrinkles at the bottom. You know, when you have your pants on, especially if they go all the way down to your shoe, sometimes they get a little bit bunched up right over your shoe. Right, so those are a couple little things. And then around the waist, a lot of times maybe there's a belt or a seam, or if you have jeans on, you know, there's that little extra piece of fabric at the top. So if you show that, and speaking of, if you have, depending on what kind of pants you're wearing, you can also maybe have some pockets. Maybe we can even see the piece seam of the pockets. So you could have some pockets there too. Right, so this is the same pants, but we get a little bit more of an idea of what we're looking at on that one. <laughs> Madeline, who is your sister? What's her name? Penelope. My sister Penelope. Romy. She, we just got um um some folders, and she was just whining about that. Um, oh, uh, did she want her own folder? Yeah. <laughs> we, we can we hardly get anything, so it feels like we never get anything. I like, can the never get things at the mailman. Oh, man, Rumi, I'm sorry. I know how you <laughs> feel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys got some folders. That's cool, Lola. <laughs> Let's see. Whoops, you know what, Lola, I can't hear you. Everything. The, on the first night that I had to go to bed, at and then we had to order everything. Really wanted to know what the package was. It was for me, but it's just some folders. So she's upset about folders. Oh, so. I see. Hmm. I'm sorry, Rumi. That must be tough, huh? <laughs> um. All right, let's see. So, Bo, yeah, so jeans would be something like this. Um, and also with jeans, you'd probably be able to see a little bit of the kind of the, that little seam on the, in the center too. There's usually another little seam in there. So if you what draw if, that, that'll make it look more like jeans too. What if you um, draw sweatpants? What sweatpants, Ooh, that's a good, that's a good, um, that's a good example. I'm gonna go ahead and do another one and we'll do it like it's sweatpants, okay? So when you do sweatpants, just think about how the um, the construction is a little different. How about baby suits? What was that? How about bathing suits? Bathing suits. Ooh, that's a tough one. Let's do, we'll do some sweatpants and then we'll try a bathing suit too. Okay.
Okay. So depending on what kind of sweatpants that we're having, there's probably going to be that bunched up seam, right? Where it's like elastic in there. So if you can show a little bit of that bunched up fabric, it wouldn't be like this. It wouldn't be a flat piece of fabric. It'd be bunched up, right? Little wrinkles in there. Um, you're still going to have some wrinkles behind the knee. And then a lot of sweatpants have another little elastic on the bottom, right? So if you draw that bunched up fabric at the bottom, that's going to show us that it's not jeans, that it's probably something more like sweatpants, right? Um, and yeah, there is smoke. I know it, you guys. Yeah. I have like thousands of sweatpants. Yeah. Because, um, I used to only wear them because I found the tight pants very uncomfortable. Yeah, you know what? My um, my daughter Maggie. I've worn a jean kind of jacket, fun fact about me. I have never worn one. Really? Though, like, closet yeah i would have i would say i like jean jackets but they're not exactly the warmest or the most comfortable i agree all right i like jeans but like for when i'm like riding horses yeah yeah that's so otherwise not the other or in like winter because they yeah. keep you like <laughs> i don't like jeans yeah. I like the jean skirts and the jean purses, you know. Yeah. I need a jean purse. I think it oh, is very oh, adorable. It has monkey paw. Ooh. They're making jeans with different fabrics these days and makes it a little bit more comfy. But yeah, jeans are also something that are not always the most comfortable. Here's um, my bag. It has monkey pockets. Oh, look at that. Nice one. <laughs> Made it out of a skirt. Draw I mean, but the skirt doesn't fit me anymore. Oh, I see. That's super cute, though. I like those monkey pockets. Uh, yes, please, Franny. Let's see it. Okay, so I, my uh, scratch book has, like, things that you can tear. So what I've been doing is I, like, make lines like this, and then I pull it off. Yeah. And it makes, like, it makes, like the um, art look really cool. And then I fold it and I keep doing Whoops, you got muted there for a second, Franny. Somehow you got muted there for, right after you said that you fold it, yeah. And then I fold it sometimes and this is how some of them turn out. Wow, interesting. Cool, thank you for sharing that. All right, how are we doing? We're gonna do bathing suit next. Does anybody have anything that they wanna share or ask me before I get started on bathing suits? Everybody doing all right? Okay. All right. Let's talk about bathing suits. Maybe after bathing suits, we could um, we could um, practice maybe doing hands. Hands. Hands are tough. Maybe we'll just get a little t light um, start on hands. We'll just start talking about hands a little bit. You can do um, headbands and rubber bands and hair, things like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Those are both really good ideas. What about, could we try braids for hair? Braids for hair? Yeah, yeah. so hair is actually, we'll do a little talk about hair. Hair is, um, it's really interesting when you're doing hair that's on a full figure, like a full body, um, because there's a lot, you're, it's a lot the shape of the hair, more than like each individual hair. Cool, Franny, that one's cool. Um, so I'll, I'll talk about that one after we do this. We'll do bathing suit hands and then we'll do a little talk about hair, okay? And remember, we're gonna keep going over this over the, over the trimester. So if we run out of time, don't worry. We're gonna keep working on this throughout the, throughout the trimester because people are tough and you guys are gonna be working on um, political cartoons in your, um, in your art class because you guys are talking about government and elections and a lot of those have people in them. So we're gonna be talking about people a lot this trimester, okay? Uh, let's and thank you to um, Gus for not playing Fortnite right now. <laughs> thank you. Um, all right, so let me go over to the bathing suit.
So bathing suits are kind of tough because you got to think of the shape, right? Oop, there's Isabella. Let's get her in here. Just one moment. I'm going to get Isabella in here and make sure that she knows where we're at. And then we're going to pick it up, okay? Let's see. Hey, Isabella. Hi. Am I late? Um, that's okay. Just a little bit, but I'm going to get you caught up. All right? So don't worry. Um, so Isabella, we are talking about drawing people today. And we're just asking questions and learning some tools and tips to draw people. I'm going to show you an example. Can I draw my kitty cat? Sure. Yeah, you can draw your kitty cat. I'm going to show you just holding up to the camera here what we've been working on so you can see. Oh my goodness, your kitty cat is too cute. <laughs> What's your kitty cat's name? Yeah, and um, when I Oh my goodness. <laughs> Super cute. Wow, that is a pretty cute kitty. Um, okay, so Isabella, just so you know, a little review and for everybody a little review. When we are drawing something, we like to think about what the clothes look like. So let's say that we're drawing something like an elbow and you can see on my arm here. So you can see where the, if you have long sleeves, you can see where those little wrinkles come in. You can see where the cuff is, the buttons, all of these details are gonna help us to draw a little bit more realistically here. So these are just things we're playing with. You can draw the same thing or you can draw something different. It's okay if you wanna draw your kitty with me. Um, and then also with the shoe, if you think about the arch of your foot, your shoelaces, that's gonna make your shoe look a little more realistic. Your neck, if something's on your collar, it'd be a little bit rounded that way, right? It wouldn't be straight across. So this is what we're talking about, Isabella. And for you and for anybody who um, wants to. Miss, um, Veronica. Veronica. <laughs> this is what I've been working on. This Let's is some, this is all of my tech tech dudes. Oh, wow. Interesting. Where's what the thing? Like, you see, he's, this is my rare going over a jump on his board. This is my um, nerd gang doing his trick on his board. I see. This is one of Augusta's characters. Yeah. And then this is my ninja character. See, cool. this is the rare. Yeah. And then this is the nerd gang. Okay. And this is the ninja. August, can I have your character for a minute? So I can, so I can show. Nice. Um, <laughs> how is your second Please, little clip thing of your cat spelling? Um, what you were making, Miss Caroline? Can I do it? I mean, Miss Veronica. Yes. Never mind. Um, can, <laughs> I'm gonna have them. I'm gonna think about which character I can draw, and I'm gonna have them go on their little half pipe I brought. Cool. Yeah, it sounds good. And one thing I want to talk about too that um, that Katie is showing really well is that when we are working on on stuff like this that's just drawing things a little more realistically, right? People in particular, it's really good to have reference. So luckily for looking at people, there's people everywhere. You can look at people in your house. You look at your own self too. This gray used to be all the way sharpened and now look at it. Oh man, do you have your, um, your um, sand block or a sharpener? Yep. That means you're working hard. So and you and I'm done with the gray part of my elephant. Oh, good. Nice. Um, would you like to show us? Not until it's done. Okay. Sounds like a good plan. All right. So, um, I what made I made tree and dot version. You what? Made a tree and the dot version. Oh. I just traced the tree and then put dots in it and then erased it. Oh, and see, I am not copying you. Don't not worry. <laughs> Cool, that's cool, Gigi. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, that dot method is really helpful, huh? Yeah, because then I don't need to draw like every single line. Right, yeah, cool. Um, so when we are going over this stuff, you guys, it's really nice to have reference. It could be a figure like what Katie was talking about. If you have like a little green or even an action figure. Whoops, there goes Shy. we lost her. Um, so anything like that that you want to look at is going to be super helpful. And then also just looking at what's around you and people that you see, people in magazines maybe, or books, starting just to notice those details. Art is a lot about observation, or at least when we're talking about drawing and representational art.
which means just drawing what we see either in our head or in our mind or in our, um, <laughs> in our actual um, setting, wherever we're looking. Okay, so reference is really good. Looking at figures, looking at pictures, looking at people around you. Um, let's see, we are going on to the bathing suit. And Isabella, we're just having a couple examples. And we're gonna try bathing suit, hands, and hair. We're gonna get as far as we can here. There we go. Okay, so for the bathing suit, well, there's obviously two kinds of bathing suits or tons of different kinds of bathing suits, but primarily, you can have either a two-piece or a one-piece bathing suit, and then you can also have swimming trunks, right? So most of them fall a little bit into that kind of category. Um, so you got to think about the shape, the shape of the torso. So usually you're going to have a little dip for our hips, especially if it's a bathing suit, a one-piece or a two-piece. And then, oh, you know what? Hang on just one second. I got someone else trying to get in just a moment. Um, okay. All right, so for this, I'm gonna show you kind of what I'm working on here. So it's very simple, but if you're working on a one piece or two piece bathing suit in general, you wanna have that little dip that you can feel from your hips, right? Like right on the sides, there's a little dip between your ribs and your hips. And you can kind of feel it in there. There's that part, yeah, in between your ribs and your hips. So if you're working on a one piece or a two piece bathing suit, that little area between your ribs and your hips helps us to see the shape. All right, so as long as you have that, then you can have the neck, you could make it into a one piece, right? You could just have the part come down, make it into a one piece that way, or you could split it in half and you can make it into a two piece. So as long as you have those little dips between your ribs and your hips, then you're gonna be able to show the shape of the bathing suit. And that's kind of the most important part with bathing suits. We can get more into detail as we go across um, other lessons about that, about kind of like your torso, drawing your torso, middle of your body. That looks delicious, Franny. <laughs> um, but that's really key to show that little area between your ribs and your hips. And you might notice as we get into drawing people and drawing clothes and all that stuff, um, you can even look at your, um, like any book that's about anatomy, which is just like parts of your body. Like as you learn maybe for science class, you learn about your bones and you learn about your muscles, all of that is actually really helpful for your drawings. Really helpful. My mom for has lots of them because she's a puberty teacher. There you go. So all of those, so I actually teach Pilates too, um, which is just kind of like a form of exercise. And I have a lot of books about that too, about the muscles and the bones. And those help me as an artist. It helps me to draw, to draw a more realistic drawing. So all of that stuff is super helpful as you get more involved in your drawings here. You sharpened my blue. <laughs> now it's sparkling. <laughs> Good, good. Whoops, did I lose Isabella there? I think so. so listen, guys, I know we're getting close to lunch. I'm going to keep drawing. Um, and we're going to do, we're going to go into the swimming trunks and then also the hands and the hair. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that out for anybody who still wants to keep drawing with me. Oh, look at that, Isabella. What do you got? Whoa. <laughs> That's really fun. Nice. Oh, that's really cool. What a creative bag. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Isabella. That's really interesting. All right, you guys. So I'm going to keep drawing. Like I said, I know it's getting close to lunch. If you're feeling like you need to get up, you need to shake it out, that's okay with me. You can go ahead. You can even leave if you feel like you need to go to your lunch. But I'm going to keep going for those of you guys who want to finish. Um, and I'm also going to have this um, on your website, this recording too. All right. So that's okay with me, with me if you're running out of steam. But I'm going to go ahead and go over the hands and the hair too. And we'll do the swimming trunks. So we have our bathing suit. If we have somebody's waist. And then I'll we'll probably kind of show it here while I'm doing it. So if you have your waist. Usually a lot of swimming trunks kind of depends on what kind of fabric, but if it has an elastic band, 
you should be able to see little lines where the fabric, whoops, get it closer, where the fabric is bunched up, kind of like sweatpants, right? So depending on if it's the kind of swimming trunks that have that ring, that pool, or the ones that have a flat piece of fabric. Yes. Uh, Isla, yes. I want to show you my drawing that I Yay! have. I'd love to see it. Let's see. Whoa, look at that. Nice, Isla. Nice, I love it. <laughs> wow, you know what? I love that. And I also love your workstation. That's a really nice workstation there, Isla. And make sure you guys see you guys, um, a lot of you probably already do, but it's nice to have that space like Isla has right there so that you don't feel like you're restricted. You can just branch out and work on your drawings. Okay, uh, let's see. So let's go for our swimming trunks. If it has that elastic, you'll be able to see the little lines for the fabric. And then you're probably going to see a drawstring, right? A little drawstring that comes out, some kind of string that's pulling the fabric together. So a lot of swimming trunks have that. And then you'd have the shorts coming down, depending on how wide they are. And you see the space in between, something like that. Something like that, right? So you can see the drawstring, you can see the elastic. Usually it's flat on the bottom, the fabric, but depending on that fabric, sometimes maybe it's gonna wobble a little bit. Maybe it's gonna not be perfectly straight. Maybe it'll look a little bit curved at the bottom because the fabric is looser. All right, so there's an idea on that. And then I'm gonna go into a little, just briefly, a little overview with hands and hair. So if you're looking at somebody's hand, the main kind of space on your hand is your palm, right? Right here, this shape here. So when you're working on a hand, you wanna make sure that you get that palm in there. So I think that's probably one of the biggest mistakes we make is that we get the fingers, but then we don't get that block of space in the middle. So I'm gonna show you the difference. And like I said, we're just gonna do a little, little introduction. We'll spend more time on hands later. But let's just say I'm doing a hand and I no, just- I'm going to stay and draw for a while. What was that? I'm talking about it. Okay. <laughs> um, so if we're doing a hand and we don't get that space in there, then it doesn't quite look right, right? It looks a little goofy. Maybe it looks kind of like feathers or claws, but we take that same hand and we make sure, and I can actually even do it with dots here, kind of. We make sure that we get that space where the palm is. We make sure we get that. And then from there, we can add the thumb, and we can add the fingers, right? Miss Veronica, I'm yep. done with my elephant. Yay! Let's see it. Whoops, we got Lola coming back in here too. Let's get her. Wow, oh my goodness, Sydney. You got the sun, you got the setting in there too. Oh my gosh, what elephant were you thinking? Were you thinking of a specific elephant? No, just like a cute elephant. It is. It's <laughs> like a baby elephant. Wow, I love that. That's really beautiful. Thank you Thanks. for sharing that. I'm going to go show my mom. Okay, go for it. All right, so for you guys who are thinking about hands, and we're going to go over this more in the, over the trimester, don't worry. But the main thing I want to talk about today, just kind of as an intro, is that to make sure when you're doing your fingers that you get the palm of the hand, right? right on the inside. So you're gonna to have to get that space in there and that's gonna help you to make the hand look more realistic. All right, so I'm just gonna leave that for hands. We're not gonna go any more over hands today, but think about that the next time that you go to draw a hand, that to make sure that you have your plum. Um, yes, you can. absolutely. Thank you for asking, Isabella. All right. So we are coming up on the end of class here. Um, I think I might save the hair. There's a lot we can talk about with hair. I think we'll save the hair for um, next one. We're actually gonna go over drawing people part two on our next art, not the comic class, but on the next art class this week. So I think we'll save the hair for that one. Um, but I wanna answer any questions and I wanna see if you guys have anything you wanna show me. 
Um, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and stop our recording so that it's not too long for you guys. And if anybody wants to go back and look at something, it's gonna be on your website and the recording will